Good morning, geometry students. Welcome to class on Thursday. Good to see you guys today. Of course, I say today because I'm making this videotape on Wednesday, but you're listening to it on Thursday. So I guess I should say good to see you guys yesterday. And uh, those tests will be, since I'm making the videotape on Wednesday, they are not graded yet. We will go over those tests on Monday because there's no need to go over the test unless it's in front of you. So we will go over your test on Monday. They will be listed on Sycamore um, <clears throat> by tomorrow, hopefully tonight, Wednesday night I'm talking about, excuse me. Um, and if not Wednesday night, then Thursday which of course right now is today for you. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. But anyways, um, your test should be downloaded pretty soon to Sycamore. So if you want to check those out, feel free to do that. Don't forget, if you put incompletes in my box and you don't email me and tell me, then I have no idea. And according to Mr. Harmon, those report cards going out Friday. So you have got to get those things turned in basically by today, Thursday. Um, and if you turn one in, or if you know you're going to turn one in for Friday, and you want to email me Thursday, that's fine. I'm just telling you, it better be in my box if you email me and tell me that. So get the incompletes taken care of. Um, I think today's lesson you're going to find really easy, so that'll be enjoyable for you. And I think you'll find the homework can be done pretty quickly. And so you'll, you might have some time at the end of the hour to work on some of your incompletes. And I hope that you'll not waste time. I hope that you'll do that, okay? Grab your notebooks, please. We're not going to try to swing any activities or get any bonus points today. We're just going to uh, quickly knock out this lesson, give you time to work on your homework in class, and hopefully give you some time to work on your incompletes. Please take the class seriously. Please work hard and give it your best, okay? And Hopefully we can get you through this class. All right, you're heading today. Let me look at my announcements real quick here. I guess I better not forget that. Um, let's see, Terry, you owe me a quiz by tomorrow. If you are able to look at Sycamore before Thursday is over and see that you are pleased with your test and you would like that to count for your quiz, I really don't mind that because um, it's actually harder than your quiz, so that's fine with me. Um, but you will have to email me and let me know. Now, if I don't hear from you, then I will expect you to have taken that quiz by Friday. Mr. Harmon has a copy of that. And, and so we should be good there, okay? Uh, that's basically it. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Here's your heading for today. We're starting a chapter um, chapter 8, we are starting a chapter that's going to be about poly polygons. Of course, we've been looking at those a lot. I understand that. Um, but the name of the entire chapter, and yes, I'm kind of hedging and wasting time. I'm trying to look at it. Here we go. Polygons and area. That's what the whole chapter is about. Now, we're going to start off today in Lesson 1 looking at classifying polynomials. Okay? And again, I think you'll find this pretty easy. So while I'm rambling, please write this down. We're looking at classifying polynomials. The uh, lesson number is 8.1, and the date is the 7th, and spring break is quickly approaching us. So thank the Lord for that. All right, here we go. Um, go ahead and copy down these two objects, would you please? Do not pause the video. I'm just going to pause for about 30 seconds. Um, go ahead and copy down this object right here. And go ahead and copy down this object over here. Just let the video run, please. Okay, now as you're finishing writing down or drawing these two polygons, these two figures, above this polygon right here, I would like you to write the word convex because this is called a convex polygon. Okay, and over here above this polygon, I would like you to write the words concave polygon. Now, I thought about giving you a word definition. I'm totally capable of doing that. But I think this is one of these situations where if I can just explain to you um, what the difference is between these two, I think that you'll be able to understand it a lot easier than just words, okay? So listen as I try to explain this to you. 
You know if you ever go out in the woods and you're hiking and you go into a cave, it's like an opening, right? An opening in the rocks and you crawl back in there and and uh, get all muddy and nasty and climb around and explore. And and thus, you see right here on this word concave, see the last word here is cave. Does everybody see that? A cave right there? Well, a concave polygon is when you have an indentation in the polygon like this, almost like a cave, like an opening there, a crevice. Okay? And so that's why we call this a concave polygon. It's dented in, if you will. Okay? Now, a convex polygon has no indentation. Okay, now you'll be surprised how some students, and maybe some of you are like this, maybe all four of you are like this. You look at it and you're like, I don't quite see it. So let me give you a full, a foolproof way. Please pay attention and watch this. How to tell the difference between convex and concave. Watch carefully, okay? If you take a pencil very quickly and draw it and draw a line on this side and extend it and then draw a line on this side and extend it and then do it to this side like this and of course my lines aren't perfect do it to this side and do it to this side every time you extended one of the sides did any of those extensions that you drew go inside the polygon the answer is no none of them did now sure we can kind of laugh my drawings pretty bad and right there I kind of went on the inside on accident but when I extended these lines none of them went inside the polygon and that will always be the case with convex but hold it look at the concave if just one extended side goes inside the polygon then we have a concave look at this side right here if I were to draw this side and extend it this way and extend it this way Ooh, look at that when I extended this side didn't part of it go inside the polygon right there didn't that part go inside the polygon sure did and so I don't care if it's just one side that you can extend that goes inside the polygon if that happens then you automatically have a concave polygon okay so with that in mind I'm gonna go ahead and do some quick extensions here on this polygon okay if I extend this side here notice nothing goes inside we're fine if I extend this side here nothing goes on the inside that's fine if I extend this side here nothing goes on the inside but look at this if I extend this side right here both directions look at that it goes inside the polygon so anytime you extend a side and it goes inside the polygon you have a concave polygon and anytime you extend all the sides and none of them go inside the polygon then you have a convex polygon I hope that helps okay all right well with that in mind let's quickly practice classifying a couple as I told you it's pretty simple it's not rocket science at all do not pause the video please just go ahead I'm gonna pause for I'm just gonna get really quiet for a second I want you to copy this weird looking kinda of like a Christmas tree shape after my boys are done on Christmas Day uh, kinda of what our tree looks like but anyways um, go ahead and copy this figure down I'll wait a second while you do that Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully you're finalizing drawing that. Now I have a question for you. You know what I'm going to ask you already? Is it convex or is it concave? Well, it is true if you extend this side here. That wow, that is really impressive. Um if you extend this side right here none of those none of that the extensions go inside the polygon and we could try that for all the sides but I see this side right here look at this side right here remember if just remember if just one side goes inside the polygon it's concave look at that if you extend this side right here going both directions it goes inside the polygon right there if that happens with just one side it's automatically concave so we would label this a concave polygon on your quiz coming up not on Friday I'm not going to give you a quiz on Friday but on the next quiz that we have probably next week um, you have to be able to tell me the difference between concave and convex okay uh, do not pause the video just let it run I want you to copy this shape down please 
copy this shape down as I'm kind of talking here. Copy that down. And while you're copying it, you already know what we're going to do. We're going to decide if this is a convex polygon or if it's a concave polygon. Give you a couple more seconds to copy this down. Okay, well, students, I'm not going to take a lot of time and bore you to death. You're smart seniors, and we have one smart junior in the room. And if you extend to this side here, none of that goes inside the polygon. If you extend to this side here, none of those go inside the polygon. If you extend to this side here, none of those go. On, none of those extensions go on the inside. If you extend to this side here, both directions, none of those go in the polygon. And if you extend to this side, going both directions, none of those go inside the polygon. Okay, so this is definitely a I almost said concave. This is definitely a convex. This is definitely a convex um, polygon. Okay? All right. I told you it's pretty simple today, and you're like, wow, we're done? E no, not at all. But we're going to look at three quick definitions, and you're going to find these so familiar and so easy. So relax and enjoy the easy opening lesson in the chapter. I'm sure it'll get harder as the chapter goes on. So, so far, you should be able to look at a polygon and tell me if it's convex or if it's concave, all right? That's what you should be able to do. Now, I want you to copy this definition, definition down, would you please? I am uh, gonna pause, so don't, don't, don't stop the video, just let it run. I'll give you a second to write this down. Um, equilateral polygons, it's a polygon in which all of its sides are congruent, all right? So that's the definition of a of an equilateral polygon. Please take a second and copy that down. A polygon in which all of its sides are congruent. Okay. All right. I'd like you to go ahead and draw um, a equilateral polygon. I can cheat. Watch this. Ha! Go ahead and draw a polygon. I mean a pentagon. Excuse me. That's a five-sided object. And there we go. All right. Now. After you've drawn your pentagon, and I know you're doing that, I'll pause for a second, but after you've drawn it, be sure and put a slash through this side, a slash through this side, a slash here, here, and here. Because if you truly have an equal lateral polygon, that means all of the sides are the same. In other words, if this side here has a length of six, then so does this side, and so does this side. That's good, 666, six, six. that's great, Christian school. And then a length of 6 here, and a length of 6 here, okay? That was unintentional, by the way. But anyways, um, all of the sides are the same. Do you see that okay? Take some really good notes on this. If all of the sides are the same, or they're congruent, in other words, all the sides are congruent, then you have an equilateral polygon. By the way, is this an equilateral concave polygon? Or an equilateral convex. Well, very quickly, if you extend it, don't do this in your notes, just watch. If you extended all the sides, none of them would go on the inside. None, well, <laughs> that one did. Poor, pretty bad drawing there. Drawing like Kate does now. Just kidding, Kate. All right, so we extended that side, and there we go. So, no, it would be a, this is a convex, convex polygon. All right? So that's the definition of an equilateral polygon, and we should be pretty familiar with that. We've heard that phrase before, equilateral triangle, when all the sides are the same. Okay, copy this in your notes. You probably knew this was next. Equiangular, that's a fun word to say, equiangular polygon, and uh, do not pause the video, just let it run. A polygon in which all of the angles are congruent. So we don't care about the sides now. If we're going to truly have an equiangular polygon, then all that we care about are the angles. And we say to ourself, self, are all of the angles congruent? And if they are congruent, all of the angles, if they're all the same, then we have an equiangular polygon. All right, so I'm kind of rambling here. Please copy this down. And now let's draw a real easy equiangular um, polygon. This will be real simple. Can you not think of one that's all the angles are congruent just real quick and easy? Of course. A rectangle. Here we go. I mean, go ahead and mark the angles, please. This is 90. This is 90. 
this is 90, and this is 90. Well, Mr. Earhart, all the sides aren't congruent. I don't care. I didn't say it was equilateral. I said it's equiangular, and that means all of the sides, excuse me, sorry, all of the angles are congruent. So 90, 90, 90, 90. This is an equiangular polygon. By the way, would it be convex or concave? Well, this would be convex. Convex. Okay? Because if you extended all the sides, well, wow, that was good. If you extended all the sides, none of them would go inside the polygon, unless you're a really bad drawer like I am. Okay, so here's an equiangular polygon. Now, we're almost done, guys. This is so simple. All right, let's take a look at one more definition. Now, this might be kind of new. Please, please notice the emphasis that I have put on um, these two words, this word and this word. Please notice that, okay? All right. Do not pause the video, just write this down. A regular polygon is a polygon that is both equilateral and equiangular. So that means all of the sides are the same and all of the angles are the same. All right. Give you a second to copy that down. Just let the video roll, please. One of these days I will sing you guys a song while you're copying this down. Not, not really. Would not want to damage your ears like that. A polygon that is both equilateral and equiangular. All right, regular polygon. All right, now, of course, I get to cheat here. Um, let's do a hexagon this time, a six sided object. So go ahead and draw a hexagon. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Just draw a hexagon. In your notes, please, six sides, one across top, one across the bottom, then a, like a V coming out to the left and a V coming out to the right. All right? And then what you want to do is you would want to show me that they're equiangular, so mark all of these angles congruent. Would you do that, please? Mark all of these angles congruent. And then mark all of these sides congruent. So put a slash through them like this. Wow. Looks like a... Not sure what it looks like. There we go. That is a regular polygon. Are not all of the sides the same? Yes, they are. So it's equilateral. Are not all of the angles the same? They're all congruent. Yes, so it's equiangular. It has to be both. It has to be both. It's so important. It has to be both. Both equiangular and both equilateral. So this is called a regular polygon. By the way, would this be concave or convex? Well, this would be convex. If you were to extend all of the sides like this, none of them, none of the sides would go on the inside of the polygon. All right? All right, there we go. That's a regular polygon. So now, with that in mind, you talk about easy stuff, students. Wow. With that in mind, would you please... Um, copy down this next figure I'm going to give you. And do not pause the video. Just go ahead and copy this down. Looks like it's uh, octagon, eight sides. So three up top. Kind of follow my wand here, would you? One, two, three. And then three on the bottom. One, two, three. And then one down this side and one down that side. Okay, so... Um, if you would please draw an octagon the best you can and I'll pause and wait for you to do that and go ahead and put those congruent symbols too if you would notice how I've marked all of the angles congruent do you see that notice though all of the sides are not congruent do you see that okay notice I've got um, two marks up here go ahead and put all these on your diagram two slashes up here and two slashes down here. Go ahead and draw this and put all of these markings on your octagon, please. Okay, my question for you very simply, is this an equilangular polygon, equilateral polygon, or regular? Well, we know that it's not, we know that it's possibly equiangular. We can see that all the angles are congruent. Is it equilateral? Are all the sides congruent? No. This side right here has one slash, and this side here has two slashes. So are all the sides congruent? 
No, they're not. So we know it can't be equilateral. We know it can't be a regular polygon because a regular polygon has to be both equilateral and equiangular. So what is this polygon? It is equiangular. Would you please write that down? Equiangular. This is an equiangular polygon. All right. Let's try another one, if you would, please. This is a hexagon. Um, again, one side up top, one side in the bottom, then V-shaped um, sides on the left and right side. So please copy this down. And this is a hexagon. And while you're while you're copying this down, you may as well go ahead and put the congruency symbols on here. Go ahead and mark the red angles with those marks and go ahead and mark the sides. And I'll pause a second while you do that. Okay, I want you to choose just one of these answers, okay? Are all of the sides congruent? Yes. Are all of the angles congruent? Yes. So what kind of polygon do we have? It is a regular polygon. Remember, a regular polygon is equiangular and equilateral. And this is equiangular and this is equilateral. Okay, one more before we get into two math problems, and then we're done. That's it. So please copy down this somewhat Pac-Man look-alike polygon here. Copy this down. I'll give you a second to do that. Then I want you to put some markings on here. Sorry about that. Copy this in your notes, please. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just do the best you can. And as you're writing this down or drawing this, go ahead and put a mark here and a mark here, 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 and here. We're not going to mark the angles anything, okay? We're not going to mark them, so hopefully you've copied this down. I mean, the angles are not congruent. First of all, to the naked eye, you can see that. I mean, look how this angle here looks like it's 90. Then look how big this angle is, is up here. It's, it's open really wide. But even if you couldn't see that, if the angles are not marked congruent, then you cannot assume they're congruent. So with that in mind, um, we don't know if the angles are congruent, but we do know that the sides are congruent. So we call this an equi lateral polygon. All right. I really don't think this is too difficult. Y'all should be doing just fine with this. All right. Let's do two quick math problems and we're finished. I would like you to copy this into your notes, kind of like a rocket ship looking shape here. If you would draw this, please. Do not pause the video. I know as you're drawing, I'll kind of talk to you. I know it doesn't look like an equilateral polygon, but off to the side I want you to write that it is equilateral. So that's a given. You are given this is an equilateral polygon. Okay. Copy this down please. Notice we know the length of one side is eight. So please copy all of this down. Wow, this is going to insult your intelligence. I want you to find the perimeter of this polygon. Well, if it's equilateral, and I've told you it is, all the sides are congruent. So this is also 8, and this is also 8, and this is also 8, and this is also 8. So if you add up all those h's, you get 40. We'll just call it units. Boy, that was pretty easy. Okay? All right, copy this in your notes if you would, please. Um, I'm giving this to you. This is given. You have an equiangular polygon. Would you go ahead and copy this pentagon in your notes, please? I'll pause and wait for you to do that. So just let the video run. Copy this down.
you are being given that this is an equiangular polygon. You have been told that, okay? Might want to make note of that somewhere. All right, so as you finish up your drawing of this polygon, be sure and write in 110 degrees right here, please, on your drawing. And write down this angle right here is 2x minus 6. Please copy that in your notes also. All right. Well, I want you to solve for x. I want you to find the value of x. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. We know this polygon is equiangular. How do we know that? Because I told you that. That means all of these angles are 110 degrees. So this angle is 110, this angle is 110, this angle is 110, and oh, cool. This angle here is 110 degrees also, right here. That means I can say 2x minus 6, this whole expression, has to equal 110 degrees. Well, we can solve this pretty quickly. Add 6 to both sides. 110 plus 6 is 116. Divide both sides by 2, and the answer is 58. So we found what x equals 58. I just really feel like this is a nice, easy, cute, pretty simple lesson to start off with, chapter 8. So I don't want you goofing off in class, and I don't want Mr. Harmon to think that we don't do math. We take it seriously. Um, but however, you will probably have a little bit of free time. Normally I would go over your test on starting a new chapter, but uh, your tests are not there, and so we will not do that. However, work on some makeup assignments if you get this assignment done. Now it's, here it is. Copy this down, please. While I'm rambling, copy this down. It's 18 problems in all, okay, 18 problems in all, and if Mr. Harmon wants to switch videos, that's up to him. This is the video that I want you to write down in case you're at home tonight and you need uh, to put yourself asleep, <laughs> just kidding, and you need help on your homework, you can play this video, okay? That's the video that corresponds with your homework. All right, so uh, here's the problems, 10 through 21, comma, 33 through 38. All of this is all, that's 18 problems in all, and this is the video that you would want to look up, okay? It seems like I'm leaving something out. Breen Academy, Geometry, no, that's right, 8.8-1, and then Homework, and that should work, okay? Have a great Thursday. See you on Friday. Be ready to roll and finish out the week well. And uh, spring break's almost here, so hang in there, all right?